what's up YouTube so I'm gonna be changing the cabin air filter on this um, truck this is actually a Toyota Highlander and the cabin air filter is behind the glove box make sure your glove box is empty so whatever you have in it take that out um, you're gonna open it and once you open it then there are three points on this particular vehicle one is gonna be here one here and one right here that um, we have to get those separated from the panel and then the glove box will fall down and we were able to get in the back and this is pretty much the same procedure on most vehicles so once I show this procedure you should be able to do it on pretty much any vehicle now the first thing you're gonna want to do is disconnect this strut right here and all this does is just to help it open softly now in disconnecting it you could disconnect it from this point but if you pull this part out it's gonna retract and once it retracts then it's a chance it could kind of fall back in here in this little um, opening and you're just gonna have a hard time getting it so what I do I reach in from I'm gonna do the top instead so you could see that little um, tab right here that's what we're gonna pop that out so I'm just gonna reach in pop the top out and you see came out and now we still have it connected to the bottom so when you go to to reconnect it you just push up and snap that back in and it's in the bottom one it's actually two it's one at the bottom and there's another one at the top actually I remove it so it's easier to see so this is what it looks like so we have the bottom one and we have two top ones but it actually snapped into this one so once we have that loose come up top and on this point you can see where it's actually in this groove just gotta pull it away from it and it snaps right out and it's the same thing on the other side just gonna separate it like that and from here the whole glove box drop and the filter is behind this little door pop this door open here's a cover has two tabs on the side one tab here you press the other side same thing you press and you press both there we go now once that's out then we're looking at the filter and it's just to grab it like that pull it out to see the, the blower motor and here I have the new filter now a lot of filters have an arrow that indicate the direction of airflow so when before you take the old one out just make sure you look what direction the arrow is pointing in um, and that will tell you how to put the new filter in mine the airflow is going downwards like down towards the floorboard so this arrow has to be pointed down and I'm just gonna slide it in Once that's in, I get the cover 
and the cover is gonna show an arrow on this car it says up so put that in that's just to hold the filter in place and seal the air in that snapped in close this door and if your glove box falls off nothing to worry about it's just notches so you just line that up snap that into place and that's it now once you're putting it back together you don't have to hold the sides to squeeze and let it go back in those grooves you just push it up and you hear that snap and that's it it's in now I could go ahead and put the strut back on so now remember it's this bottom hole not the top one and I'm actually gonna take it off just to do this I'm just gonna angle it in there snap the bottom in and then I'm gonna extend it to get to the other one and that's it it's in snap that in nice soft close again make sure the glove box open and close nice and smooth and that's it and changing the cabin air filter every six months or every um other oil change ensures you're getting the maximum out of your ac if it's clogged your ac is not going to be cold so you want to make sure your filter is clean um it doesn't cost that much so just change it once twice a year and you'll be good and this is the part number for this vehicle this is a toyota highlander and um that's it thank you for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe